Pachu. 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 <clears throat> Where do those fireworks come from? Pachu. Pachu. I guess that's how we're starting this one. Welcome back. So I let's will play. start anyone how I damn well feel like it. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. We dried up a fairy spring that was suspiciously every, every devoid of fairies. Every time you say The Legend of Zelda, I want to add a subtitle to it like you should have to add one to it. But it's just called The Legend of Zelda. There the is legend, no subtitle. <laughs> the Legend of Zelda. That first one. That first one. But we're going into level 7. Now, compared to the previous dungeon, level 7 is a joke. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, you are first introduced to the Lanmolus here. And they're pretty cake. I don't think you ever have to fight them alongside anything else. No, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. I don't think you ever have to fight them alongside anything else. So... Hmm. You just kinda have to do not die. But they're... Okay. Uh, that was the leader one. Killed the leader one. Put you on the leaderboard. Gave me that high Alagon weapon. Now, okay, just for the sake of it. Now you can complain about Nexus weapons forever. They're so broken. Nobody uh, has to try for anything anymore. <laughs> How dare they make the game easier just before a major update's gonna make everything easier. I know. <laughs> How dare they update the game ever and make that thing that I worked for sort of void. <laughs> that makes me irate. Okay, I just went over to that room because that room was directly over the room we started in, and I wanted to show it off. Also, we got a key out of it, so keys. Actually, we got a bomb out of it. Oh, we did? Oh, yeah. well, then fudge that room. We've, all, we've had two keys forever. It's just I don't know how to get rid of them. Um, we'll solve that problem soon enough, I'm sure. Now, the reason this dungeon is infinitely easier than the previous dungeon is largely because the previous dungeon was the Wizrobe dungeon. Nothing but Wizrobes, as far as the eyes can see. This dungeon, it's the boomerang guy. I think somebody said they were called Gamoras or something. No, they can't possibly be the Somebody in the comments told us at one point what there was, so... There's a secret in the tip of the nut. That's not my line. Hmm. This one was actually changed. In the Japanese version, this uh, line of dialogue was completely different from this one. And the Japanese one, this is the one that said there is a... Or like, Spectacle, Spectacle Rock, Rock is the leads entrance. To death. Yeah, Spectacle Rock leads to death, or something of the sort. Or is the entrance to death. Leads to death is the translation we got. Yeah. How you doing, Dick Dogger? You chilling? Later! You doing alright? It's cool. Just walk away from him. Like, oh, I want to know why. Um, they. Now you're just three over. Quick. <laughs> now you're eight over. Quick, shoot eight arrows. Like, I want to know why they decided to put this dungeon after the previous one. Mm. They felt sorry for you? Probably. Because, like, you'll just get wrecked by those wizards. The boomerang guys, they're a joke! Can you... Is it just me? Could you now imagine Link just walking past Dig Dugger and going, like, Dig Go Dogger and going, Later! Okay, um, this is actually the first instance, I think, in the game, where you are forced to bomb a wall. You can see there's nowhere for us to go from here. You can either bomb the up up wall in this one, which I'm doing, or you can bomb the up and left in the one down below. Or not below, to the left. So, hey. And really, I brought Stalfoss back as though that was going to be a challenge at all when we're as geared as we are. Oh, that guy was holding a compass. <laughs> I thought he was holding a key. He was just holding it. It's like, it's mine now. It's in my ribcage. What are you going to do about it? Ah! I feel like maybe this dungeon was put here to make you feel... Or to make you realize how much you've grown. And, like, how powerful you've become. Not to actually be a challenge, but... 
two well, for one. Well, considering you took that guy out, those two guys out in one shot, yeah, I'm gonna have to wager this is one of those, like, look how far you've come. And then you get killed by those guys anyway. Okay, now the next room over here is full of Dodongos! Quick, use magic on them, where wait, they are vulnerable. I, wait, actually, I don't have to kill them, I can just key this door. Yeah, you get rupees out of it, but... I bet you'd like to have more bombs! I sure would! Sucker. Now I've got 16 bombs, which I think is all the more you have. Um, you can kill these guys if you really want to. You get money out of it, but... Money? I don't really need at money. At this point... Don't really need money at this point. Wah. Wah. I okay, I still have just, one potion you left. You picked it up. Supposed oh, to be I was more looking at, um, I forgot how many potions I had. Ropes. Possibly from... I don't know what the practice is to make ropes. ropes I want to say ropes carp. Of, ropes Sylvania. Shut up. No, I meant like, the I like carpentry or something like that. Ropery. I will smack you. <laughs> Do not think, just because I'm the younger of the two, I won't go all big brother on you. Honestly, wah. Wah. Honestly, you're younger, but not by enough of an amount to matter. Worth the crap. A month and wah. four days. No, come back here. No, come, you... <laughs> Damn it. These aren't fun to kill. How you doing, Dig Dogger? Don't mind us, we're just passing through. Like I said to your other buddy. Later! And we once again um, encounter some lawn mullets. Lawn mullets are kind of a joke in this game. Um, these are actually lawn mullets, though. We've seen them return um, a couple times, but. And you already picked up the key in this room, too. Yeah, but uh, notably. It came back as the dun as the boss of the second major dungeon in Link to the Past. No, I still don't remember those things. Was that the one you can get knocked down off of, or...? No, that was, uh, Moldorm. Yeah, but... okay. Lawn Mullets were the snake, the segmented snake guys that jumped in and out of the sand. Oh! Now why do they look like fireballs in this one? Got me. I don't have you somebody else's job. This one. This one was the one that Adam told us that was the bane of every child when this first came out. Because all he says is grumble, grumble. And that means nothing to you as to what you're supposed to do. What you're supposed to do is club him with some meat. And then he goes away. That's it. That's that, it. That's, that's how you thing. solve the pr uh, puzzle, is you give him meat. Apparently they thought grumble, grumble was enough of a clue for you to realize that he's hungry and he wants something to eat. You know, I really should have checked while we were looking over the differences in translation. What I really said. should have looked at what the Japanese, what he said in the Japanese. Oh, you're going to end up adding that on here anyway. It's going to end up bugging you and you're going to be like, oh, I'll just add it on later. Man, I don't want to go up there with him. That's where our bubble's at. I don't like bubbles. Not even in a bath. Kind of figured that's what the room looked like. Ugh, air cookies. Full of air and Ah, money. You never know when you'll need some money. I actually need to save up for the, um... Potion, anyway. Oh, it's since I'm, since potion. I'm down one. Freaking bubble. Hurt! Strain yourself too hard. Oh, um, yeah, from here... Up. Frickin' bubbles! Well, you don't really need to worry about them now. I'm just gonna stand in them. From here, you can go up to a secret room that's off-map. And then you can continue going to the right, which is on-map again. Um, you can get to this way normally by just going through the... God dang it. <laughs> you can get to this way normally by going through the right door in the room before the secret door. Right, you give me that heart back. You stole from me. I'll steal right back from you, Barbara. <laughs> I 
And I'm gonna go ahead and keep continue going to the right, because you can get a key in here. Along with a lot of slowdown. Man, that slowdown! I stopped playing good when it started playing at normal speed. I thought you were just gonna get mad and just go like, You know what? I have it equipped, but bombs! Die by bombs! Okay, so the one dark room with the bubble in the middle, head out the right and you'll come in here. That's right, I kill you before your boomerang hit me. Do their boomerangs disappear when they die, or is they yes. just... Oh, I thought they kept going. Oh, they actually do disappear. Just straight up disappears. Now, once again, in this dungeon, you actually are forced to bomb something. I already have bombs selected. In fact, you're forced to bomb into the eye of the dungeon. <gasps> Sorry, I, I don't even know what was going on with those guys. Uh. I stabbed one guy, the shot went through him, hit another guy, I swear I heard the you kill the guy sound. And then the second guy, after getting finishing getting hit, decided to fly across the room. Neither of them died. Mm. But yeah. here in the eye of the in the eye of the what is this dungeon? The beast, the demon, I think the demon. Really? That guy looks more like a sock puppet. Bah! But in here you get the red candle, which means you can do this all day long. Yeah. And you're not limited to doing once per screen like before. Keep switching to the magic rod, yet you know you're just gonna switch off it. Yeah, I'm gonna switch off of it and right back to bombs. You can hear the boss, which means the boss is near. Right below us. Yep. But we can't get to him yet. Yeah, we gotta go the long way, because these dungeons decided to stop being fun. Or oh, I should, this... I, straightforward, yeah. really. This one's still fun. Yeah, this one's actually pretty fun, because you just go and wreck everybody. I'm gonna go up. Why not? Um, if you go up, you gotta fight some more of them. There's just like fireballs here. Yeah, I would never have matched these guys to being the lawn mullis. And you've picked it up again already. There's a bomb, I think. Bombs, yeah. Here we have to use one of our two keys. I think we're actually down one now. And, oh my goodness, you actually have to fight this one. And then he splits into three. And then dies pretty quickly. He splits into three, and as long as you jump on him right quick, you kind of don't have to worry about him splitting into three. Because you can just hit him all at once. And then I'd bomb Dang him. it. <laughs> well, Ooh, whatever. Yeah, that still counts. I'm not gonna argue, man. Now this room is kind of a jerk. Dang it. This room is kind of a jerk because there are wall masters in this run in this room. You have to make your way around to the far right side of the screen in order to push a block. No, I'm not getting that, because I don't want to mess with the Wall Masters. There are actually a set number of Wall Masters in the dungeon. Or, not in the dungeon, in the room. You can actually kill all of them. I think you've done that. I think I may have. If you bubbles will leave me the crap alone! Why can't I kill you? Yep, pretty sure we're out of Wall Masters. Because going this whole stretch over here... Going this whole stretch of- Cat dang it. Up yours. Going the whole stretch around the outside of the room, um, just to push that one block and then get in the stairs. Pretty much wall masturbate. I can't believe you just said that. Shut up. <laughs> Listen, it was better that I'm the first one who pointed it out than the comets pointing it out, and then you getting that on another little... Oh, he did innuendo again. 
because you can't find that if you actually go looking for it in completely accidental things. <laughs> okay, well, we've been most I everywhere in the dungeon the at this point. I think you forgot the fact that I did the innuendo thing and you didn't go in your endo. Todd. Now, at this point, we've been pretty much everywhere in the dungeon. Um, just the two rooms to the right, we've even got the item in the dungeon, which was the red candle. So, let's go wreck this boss. What kind of crazy thing is this god boss gonna be? The first boss. Ah, what the heck? So, in the... In the vein of the rest of the dungeon, bringing back the old school and making you feel good for being able to just wreck face. Or bring maybe, back the first boss. Or maybe they ran out of space and had to put in the same boss again. Maybe. Yeah. Also, I'd like to point out, this is the first time you come out of the past few dungeons with one key. We're actually down a key. Well. Alright, um... I, well, I guess I could say until next time, because we already know where the thing is, but, um... With any luck, I haven't edited down anything yet, so I'm not gonna continue to do it yet. Just had to <clears throat> narrate that whole process, didn't you? Yep, I am, however, while I'm out here, going to buy a potion. Oh, and you have just enough. Oh, I have enough because I don't even need to buy the red one. Oh, does that make it red automatically? Yep. Oh, that's nifty. And now we're fully stacked and ready to wreck face. So I'm gonna make my way over to Dungeon 8 where we're gonna have a bad day. Dungeon 8, still not a great dungeon, but it's better than 6. Yeah. I also would like to point out, with Dungeon 8 being the only one left, you only have one heart container to get. Yep, which means we get it from Dungeon 8. Which means we have yeah, 16 thanks. hearts in this whole game. Yep, which I think, I think was mentioned that there are... That's an actual uncommon number of hearts for a Zelda game. I think it's usually 20 is the max. 20 usually, but I know the Game Boy ones cut them down to like 14 for some reason. Yeah, I think if memory serves, this is like one of two games that actually left with, um, 12 hearts. Or 16 hearts. Hmm. I forget what the other one was. Give me that. Fudge that one. I got a five. That's all I need. Well, I mean, you need many things, but... Hey. <laughs> Rude. Will you give me a heart? You give me better than a heart. You screw that heart, I'll take this fairy. Alright, so, until next time, everyone, we have returned to Dungeon 8. So, next time we're gonna go in here, and this is the final dungeon before the... Well, final dungeon. <gasps> I know, shocking. <gasps> until next time, everyone. <gasps> oh,